Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com with our last box of 2017 Topps Chrome Baseball personal break for Daniel Owsley. Daniel Owsley of Florida. We got to your box. Sorry, it's a little late. Had some group breaks there, but good luck. Two autographs per box. Looking for that guy right there. The man on the box. I'm the man on the box. It's Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Who's the man on the box? Could he be the man in the box? Perhaps. All right, Daniel, good luck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that other domino has not dropped yet. I thought Bryce Harper would would, would sign by now once that man, once Manny Machado was taken care of. Now, where does Bryce Harper go? A little baseball talk here with this personal box for Daniel. Bryce Harper goes to Giants, maybe? Are the Giants going to... The Giants are kind of rebuilding. Doesn't Bryce Harper want to be on a more competitive team? Maybe. You think Padres, Rory? They could sign Bryce Harper to a short-term deal, higher average annual value. Padres could lock up, you know, Bryce Harper and Machado for at least five seasons, perhaps. Chris is thinking Miami. I don't think Miami's interested in that. I think all indication seems like they're just going to tear everything down, rebuild through the farm system. I don't think they're ready for a big-name free agent yet. Phillies might be ready for a big-name free agent to sign. White Sox definitely disappointed that Machado didn't go with them. Giants could do it. I think that my Dodgers are out. I don't think they want to put in the years. I think I, feel, I have a feeling the Dodgers feel like they could develop a Bryce Harper through their farm system without having to buy a Bryce Harper. You know what I mean? Same with Manny Machado. I think they, they, they like the depth over eggs in one basket. They don't like the stars and scrubs kind of formula. Phillies, I don't know. Who else? There, there's got to be like a mystery team. You think the Yankees could jump back in on that? Maybe the Yankees jump back in. Try to take advantage of a perceived soft market for big name free agents. Although, players have to be happy with what the Padres did. The players Union definitely has to be happy with what the Padres did. Now they're... Now they're going to be like, yeah, see, Machado got the 10-year 300. Although, I'd be surprised if Machado lasts all 10 years in San Diego. You know what I mean? He's got an option after five, and I'll bet he takes that option. I'll bet he opts out after five. First autograph is Jarrell Cotton. I think he was a former Dodger prospect on the A's now, rookie auto. I'd like to see the A's just be like, F it, we're going to get Bryce Harper for 10 years. Build that new stadium in Oakland. Or maybe he's just south of Oakland or something like that. Got a lot of young pieces on the team. Kind of had an exciting team last year. Pop into Bryce Harper there. Oakland would love Bryce Harper. There's Machado right here. And there's Joey Votto. Reds have been making a lot of moves. I don't know if it's going to be moves that could get them to the playoffs, but they're certainly acting like it. Maybe they think their young guys are a little bit more closer than we think, than I will, than I think. And Pat Valaika for the Rockies is your second autograph. So no Aaron Judge, but let's see if we can find some uh, low number parallels in there. Rex is saying it just shows that no one is worth what they think. These players need to learn that they aren't always worth $300 million. Well, yeah, but Machado is. <laughs> That's what he got paid. I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. It'll be, well, it'll be interesting to see what, what the Harper deal ends up being. Because clearly, you know, the Padres definitely thought that Machado was worth $300 million. And bam, Machado was patient. Him and his agent were patient, and boom, they got they got the deal that they wanted. 
And on a team that has a pretty solid future, too. That could be pretty competitive in the next couple of years. I saw what you were saying earlier, Rex, that you were surprised that the, that the Cubs haven't made a lot of position player moves, right? But I think they got to work on that starting pitching a little bit. I think their position players will kind of sort itself out. Where's Mike Trout? Is Mike Trout going to? I don't think they worked out an extension with Mike Trout. They were trying to. We'll see what happens with him. And there you have it. Well, Daniel, thank you very much for giving that a shot. No Aaron Judge, but a couple nice autographs, a couple parallels. Thanks for trying. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.